transcend um, cats. Um, they make chicks like the greatest toy ever invented. Um, and they break the toys so and they'll get another one. And uh, I'm not a cat person. We'll talk about getting some hard cats. But, um, you know, when they're, when they're, they're full size chickens, they are not, not a big deal. But, um, you know, the cats are, are just terrible for your chick population. Um, so, check the young birds, one of class, emphasize that. The next thing is, um, going back to the nighttime, your birds need somewhere they can go and uh, roost at night. You know, for most of us, it's a coop. Uh, and your coop needs to be well-designed. Josh talked quite a bit about that last month. Uh, but you also need a lot of coop because if they're in there resting and your raccoon walks in the door, he says, oh, great, I can eat buffet with the door. Um, that's the only difference they have. So you know, locking that every day, and this is one of these things of, you know, if you lock your door, your coop door, 29 days a week, guess what night the raccoon comes on? Yeah. Eight out of ten times, it's just, you know, if you don't have your driver's license, that's the day the cops going to pull you over for broken camp. Um, or a headline that's out for you. So the consistency is, is a big, big thing for the animals. Um, and that, that's not time. During daytime, when we talked about um, you know, some of the aerial assaults, one thing I like to do, now keep in mind I've got quite a bit of land. Um, but something I've got kind of spread around my place are, imagine something like a kid's table. You know, maybe about a foot, 18 inches off the ground. You know, something a couple feet across. But when the hawks come flying by, my chickens go and run for cover. They want to get out of sight so the hawk can't see them. And somewhere where if the hawk does try to attack, they can exit multiple different ways. And in areas where I don't have things like that, through the chicken bird will go out that much. I'm trying to deal What's funny is, within 100 feet of cover, you can walk into the grasshoppers. You get past that, and it's like a sea of grasshoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone these grasshoppers? Come right out for my place. You know, you know. So, um, you know, they won't go out there because, and some people think that, well, I've got trees. Well, a tree is great for this. Let's say this is your property. Here's the tree. And here's your chicken. I'm not very good at drawing. What a hawk will do is, you know, he's way out here, he sees the food, he comes over here, he attacks from behind the tree, and the chicken never sees it coming. So a tree is the best friend of a hawk. If you think that's protecting your bird, your 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 your, your chicken ducks, whatever, that's absolutely not true. It's the opposite. Um, so that's something to consider. Um, and nighttime, by the way, there's some people who we can hear your runs covered, but some uh, coops or runs are opened on top, thinking, okay, you know, something's not necessarily going to climb over and in. Well, uh, a fellow, a good friend of mine that I work with, um, one night he hears all this noise out there, he goes out and looks, he get a bunch of young chicks, probably two, three weeks old, and I would come in and was doing all you need to say. You know, it, it was perfect. It was, it was the salad bar was open on top. So you, whether it's daytime or nighttime, um, you've got to have that area. And I'm trying to throw ideas out there. Just everyone's got a different design. You've got different properties and groups and yards and so forth. I'm trying to cover a little bit for everyone. And if you see things specifically, ask away. Um, but I'm going into kind of general for you. Um, so, nighttime, and also, someone mentioned digging. One thing that's real popular, and I think Josh mentioned this last week, was if, you know, these are the sidewalls of your coop. If you've got a dirt floor, take a piece of um, probably a little more than chicken wire, like welded wire or hardware cloth. Welded wire works pretty well. And lay that down here. You can attach it to the side and lay it outward. Or you can go underneath. But if a predator tries digging, they're not going to be able to dig through that uh, old wire. Something like a, a chicken wire, it'll discourage it, but they can still tear through it. It's just, it's 
especially sitting in the ground, it's going to start rusting really quickly and just disintegrate. Um, oh, oh, one big thing is what I mentioned before, preventing the predators from coming to work. A key thing is what I'm called discourage them. There's people who will have, um, you know, a water drop 10 feet from their coop. And the raccoon loves to get a drink in the water car. You know, he gets a drink, he's running, and hey, it's chicken for dinner. Um, or they'll have feed that spills out or sits out all the time. And then other nighttime predators come and will eat that and immediately look around and see what else is there. Try and not have open things out that just, it's like a flashing open sign. If they're not coming there for other food or for water or for